Az Jóra Sabi lett Jemesi ki? Jemesi. 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 Amiről Badalli nem van nő vajna, Katil és Csinnő Bagot hajnagy be, Ávad és Sununza, Csinnunza alá, ma Cornelius ó. Uh, my name is Cornelius, many of you uh, might know. Uh, video full up, Ramro and Tilla brother, video full up. Video full up, no video. When a color of video? Video? A color, no video full the hair, realistic kunza. I'm Sunday Holy Rasa, as you call that Hamro Labada. Video full up. Video they the अब मौसम तेजता कुछ आरु कई थाई ना समझे ही थाई ना बस्तम में तब ये सांते बसेरा फास्टिंग बसेरा प्रार्थना करने हो बने मेरो मेंबरों को लाई प्रार्थना कर दिनों उस ते पुरा था आउन उस प्रकाश को पुस्तक में प्रकाश को पुस्तक पंद्रह दिए में आउन था प्लीज चेंज टू रेवेलेशन चैप्टर फिफ्टीन अन्य पंद्रह को � and verse one. Anime Sogama or Rathati Huruma Sunka Peti Huru Badeka, Sat Mahamari Huru Lieka, Sat Sorgodut Huru Mandir Bata Baira Ai, Anita Jibit Prani Harumade, Egzanale, T Sat Sorgodut Harulai, Sadash or Bada, Junone, Parmesh or Kokrot Le Varieka, Sunka Sat or Tapatora Haru, Be Ani Parmesh or Komaimara, Ohako Samar Tabata Kuru. Duale to Mandir Vario, only tea sat sorgut haru, cast ma mari, put an angel coipani, Mandir Vitra Posna Sakina. Luca go pustok maunus of your own tin porter, Luca Luca go pustok, a kaisko or tesla porter, sotas or tesla like that. Please turn to Luke chapter twenty one, verses अनि तब तिनीहरुले मानिसका पुत्रलाई सामर्थ्य र महामहिमा सहित बादलमा आइरहेका देखिनेछन् अनि जब यी कुराहरु हुन थाल्छन् तब माथि हेर प्रार्थना शिर उठाओ किनकि तिनीहरुको छुटकारा नजिकै छ प्रार्थना गरौ सामर्थ्य अनुकारी विश्वास योग्य एकमात्र जीवित परमेश्वर तपाईको चरणमा मुक्तिदाता प्रभु येशुको नाममा आइकन म तपाईलाई धन्यवाद दिन्छु तपाईको अनुग्रह दया पापी प्रति भएको छ प्रभु आज हेली घेरित सबै प्रकारले प्रभु आज ठगिएको मिचिएको मान्छे भए तापनि परमेश्वरको दया अनुग्रहमा बाँचेको पापी हो प्रभु तपाईको दया अनुग्रहको लागि म धन्यवाद दिन्छु तपाईले प्रेम गर्नुभयो यस्तै पापीलाई प्रभु जसले गर्दा यो मैले सौभाग्य पाए आजको दिन तपाईले हामीलाई यो हप्ताको पहिलो दिनमा यसरी तपाई ल्याइकन तपाईको महिमा दुख सुख जाइ नजाने गर्ने तपाईले बनाउनु भयो प्रभुजी पाप अनुग्रहले बाँचेको पापीहरुलाई तपाईले बचाएर तपाईले आफ्नो महिमा दिन चाहनु भयो हे पिता धन्यवाद छ हामीलाई यहाँ सम्म सहायता गर्नु भयो अ छुद्र कुनै पनि प्रकारले काम लाग्ने मान्छे म हुँदै होइन म त अयोग्य मान्छे हुँ योग्यको म छदै छैन तर पनि तपाईको चाहना यस्तै छ कामै नलाग्ने कुरालाई तपाईले छानेर आफ्नो महिमा लिन्छु तपाईले भनिकन तो कोरिन्थी को पुस्तक में एक अध्याय में तबेले बनु बाग हो सकते से लेने तबे को उद्देश्य इस्ते भायो पर वो धने बात सब मौजूद तो काम लाने मानसे लाए पर इन तबेले पौधों का नचानु भायो मौ काम लाने मानसे हो इना पर वो आज मानस को नजर में बनी मौ काम लाग दीना तबे को नजर में काम लाग 
त्यसैले मै जस्तो एउटा दुष्टलाई पनि तपाईँले चाहनु भयो हामी जस्तालाई तपाईँले चाहनु भयो धन्यवाद छ तपाईँको सामुमा अगाडि उभिएको छु तपाईँका छोरा छोरीको सामुमा प्रभुजी अब यस्तो यो युजलेसले के गर्न सक्छ र के वचन ल्याउन सक्छ र तर तपाईँले चाहनुभयो भने असम्भव भन्ने कुरा केही पनि छैन गधा बोलेका छन् ढुङ्गाले आज्ञा मानेको छ हुरी उनीहरूले मानेको छ मरेको मान्छे बाँचेको छ भने तपाईँमा असम्भव भने केही छैन केही छैन प्रभु तपाईँले प्रयोग गर्नुहोस् यो चुने भाडालाई टालटुल गरेर तपाईँले आफ्नो काममा प्रयोग गर्नुहोस् ए पनि छ अब अचानक मलाई यो कुरा पर्व आज भनियो अनि म उभिएको छु अब तपाईँको इच्छा भयो भने तपाईँले आफ्नो छोरा छोरीसँग मसँग बोल्नुहोस् र तपाईँको यहाँ महिमा भएका हुन् अनि हाम्रा छोराले जो टाहलेट गर्नुपर्छ सरल शब्दमा प्रभु तपाईँले सहायता गरिबस्छन् दुष्टलाई हार दिनुहोस् दुष्ट धेरै प्रकारले यो छ आउँछ मनमा यसले धेरै प्रकारको कुरा उब्जाइदिएर यसले तहस नहस बनाएर तपाईँको आशीष बिहीन बनाउन यसले चाहन्छ प्रभु यो दुष्ट हो कि जब यस्तो हृदय आउँछ मनमा अनि यो दुष्ट हो भन्ने कुरा प्रमाणित हुन्छ त्यसैले यसलाई पनि यसुको सामर्थ्यमा बाँध्छौँ आफ्नो बसमा राख्नुहोस् हामी बसेको ठाउँको चार किल्ला चार सुर स्वरोदुक्तो पहरा रगोतो घेरामा राखेर तपाईँले आफ्नो आफ्नो महिमा लिनुहोस् हामीले पढेको जो पर्सनबाट तपाईँले आफ्नो सन्देशा दिई बस्नुहोस् प्रार्थना मुखी दाता पर्व यसुको नापिता स्वर्गमा सुनिग्रहण गर्नुहोस् हामीन हामीले पढ्यौँ यो चाहिँ अब परमेश्वरको यो एउटा सन्देश अन्तिम समयको विषय लिएर नि यो सन्देश यो यहाँ पौली दिनु भएको छ and here the message the lord give lord is lord jesus christ is given is regarding this end times uh aile hami tesai samay ko testai paristhiti ma bhayera hami gai raheka chau and we are actually going in uh, that kind of scenario ani hami le hami le pula dekhi bhandai pani aayeka chau and we have been telling this uh, since a long time इम्प्लिमेन्ट गर्ने जीवन हुँदैन but many times it is only uh, hearing and listening to it but not implementation aba suni rakheka chau aphno aphno bishaya ma aphu lai tayari bane banayera prabhu ko agar ma tayari hunu parne ho but in fact it is listening and being ready and prepared for the end time tara hami tesa chaina but we are not like that हामी अरूको विषयमा सोच्छौँ अरूको विषय कुरा गर्छौँ अरूको विषयका राम्रो होस् नराम्रो कुरा गरेर हामी बरू आफै तहसहस हुन्छौँ बट वी आर मेनी टाइम्स टकिङ अबाउट अदर्स टकिङ अबाउट देयर शर्टकमिङ्स देयर बिहेभियर्स एक्टिभिटी एक दिन प्रभु येशु मसी प्रभु येशु मसीलाई क्रूस बोकाएर क्रूस बोकाएर लगिरहेको छु गलगथा के भन्छ खप्परे डाडामा लगिरहेको थियो एन्ड वन टाइम द लोर्ड जीजस क्राइस्ट वाज बीइंग मेड टु क्यारी द क्रस एन्ड ही वाज गोइंग टुवर्ड्स दिस माउंट अफ गलगथा उहाँ अनि उहाँलाई पछ्याउने उहाँका भक्तहरु उहाँका उहाँका चेलाहरुले उहाँलाई दिदी दाजुभाइ दिदी बहिनीले पछ्याएर गइरहेका थिए and there were many brothers and sisters who were the disciples of the lord jesus christ following him ani prabhu le aphno aphno krus bokera aphai jade hununthyo and the lord jesus christ was carrying his own cross ani pachhyaune haru le pachhari basera ekdam ek bilap garde roi raheka thie and the people following him were in tears and lamenting behind him keti bela prabhu le ti rune harla ke bhannu bha and what did the lord say to those who were weeping timaru mero ki mero nimti ke runcha timaru and he says why do you weep for me ta timro nimti rau ra timro thara thara nimti rau bhara pavale bhannu bha the lord says weep for yourself and for your children aaja ma kasko nimti rudai chu and today who are we crying for mero nimti rudai chu ki kasko nimti rudai chu ma are we weeping for ourselves or for the others to aasu le kun kula la kun kun kura lera dhari rahe ko cha to aasu 
and the tear that is dropping in what respect it is dropping I should be lamenting for myself so brothers and sisters we are living in this end time and it is a serious matter I'm not trying to say that I am good perhaps I am the worst of everyone but it is, to, it is to me that the Lord loves the most. In fact, what I'm trying to say is that the, whoever is the worst sinner is the one we need to love for. It, the Lord loves the one who is the worst sinner. And, if I, and we need to regard ourselves as one of the worst sinners. And then we can experience the love of Christ. And if I if I think that other person is the sinner, more sinner than me and have that kind of attitude in me, then the love of Christ is not in me. Do I have that in my life? Am I in that kind of condition? We need to we need to lament, uh, hit, uh, beat our uh, chest, uh, fall it's back and grow. repent. It is a serious grow. matter. It is no it is, there is no one to judge each other but to ourselves. Luke chapter 23, verse 28. So at first, brothers and sisters, we need to look at ourselves where we are. And I uh, keep on saying this many times that to see the Lord Jesus Christ, we need to look at ourselves. And to, in order to know that whether I'm a good person, whether I'm doing something wrong or uh, in deeds, that we need to look at the Lord Jesus Christ. Because if anyone who looks at the Lord Jesus Christ cannot does not accuse anyone else. The person who looks at the Lord Jesus Christ looks at uh, sees his own mistakes. But then if we do not look at the Lord Jesus Christ, then we will we will look at the other people and see their mistakes. So it is important that we look at the Lord Jesus Christ and return repenting. One day the Lord Jesus Christ was teaching in the temple and coming out. And as the Lord Jesus Christ was coming out with his disciples, the disciples, disciples looked at the temple, showed to the Lord Jesus, saying, See how beautiful the stones are. And I don't want to read this, but you can see in your own time, Matthew chapter 4, 24. And the Lord Jesus Christ replies in this way manner. And the Lord Jesus Christ replied to them, Do you talk about this temple in this manner, but there will be no stone that will be left untouched? And I'm talking about the Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And 
प्रभु पुग्नु भयो चेलाहरु पछ्याउँदै गएर त्यहाँ त्यहाँ गरे फेरि चेलाहरुले भन्छन् प्रभु यो कुरा तपाईको आगमन र संसारको अन्तको चिन्ह चाहिँ के हुन्छ भनेर त्यहाँ बताएको छ and again the disciples uh, later speak to the lord jesus christ asking of uh, when uh, of the time uh, indication of the end time ani parbu le es prakar le anta ko din ma esto esto huncha bhandra hami le to 24 adhyay ma padyo bhane parbu mai ho bhandra yesu christ mai ho bhandra aune chan dekhi le dherai dherai kura haru hunde hunde la ra mahamari ka kura haru parbu le bataunu bha and the Lord Jesus Christ went on and mentioning about this uh, signs that would come, such as the the people coming in the in the name of the Christ, as well as many plagues that would come. Okay, I'm going to read a passage back here. Because Pustak ma, I'm going to read it. Ma, Mari, the Satora, Ma, Mari, who Katora, who ke ko, Surgudut ko kurati, I'm going to read it. And earlier we read in Revelation chapter 15 about this uh, plagues, uh, seven plagues, and this uh, uh, plague of vile that were carried by angels. And this was the revelation given to John. And it, uh, we understand that that it is about this end times. That in the end times, the end will come through the plagues. And this incident's been happening since long time, and we have been hearing about this uh, uh, the end times. So why has not this end come yet then? And there is a great mystery in this. And these plagues are coming now in current context as well. And this plague is something that uh, is not come by itself, but it is from the Lord Himself. And many times uh, things happen and people start accusing to Satan that Satan has done this and that. But we should say, this is my doing. Because I should say that this, has, this is happening because of me. And the character of a man is either to accuse others or to a Satan. And this is a disease that has followed on from uh, the Garden of Eden. And this is the greatest plague that has been followed on that it is to accuse others. And the wrath of this plague will come upon uh, you and I. And this is the thing that someone who is accusing others will have to take upon this on themselves. And there is no other greater plague than this in a man's life. And because of this plague that we have fallen into this sin. And we have to cry. And not looking at other, others, but looking at ourselves. Let us not look at others. And there are no excuses for this. And it says that because the sin has abounded, uh, expounded so much that even the earth itself is waiting for the coming of the sun. Romans chapter 8 verse 19. That they are waiting for the coming of the Son of God. 
दाजुभाइ दिदी पनि अ यस्तो पाप भयो इभन पृथ्वीले पनि सहन सकेको छैन and the, the the agony of sin is so much that even the earth is not able to bear and from this we understand that if the sin is to grow even bigger than this then it is unbearable and it is because of you and i Bible And verse 22. And travel is not something that a man uh, uh, would go through. And this is not something that we can understand. But it is something a woman or female would understand. And it is also in the female, it is the woman who have given birth to. And those who have seen this pain and suffering of the birth, they are not able to probably hold their tears. And see that it is so much pain in there. And these are things we have only heard about. And even Paul, he went through the uh, travel. And he also experienced this. Galatians chapter 4 verse 19. So how did how did Paul went through this travel? Paul First Corinthians chapter 4 and Paul says that I have begotten you. And if someone goes through this travel to give birth, and this person who is given birth, they do not live their life correctly, then the, uh, then the person who gives birth has to go through the travel again. And I feel like the Lord Jesus Christ, when he sees our life, he goes through this travel again. And so when someone gives a birth to a child, they go, they give up the travel, but uh, with the hope that again, the, the child will grow with expectation to do great things, but they, they do not live up to that expectation and they have to suffer the travel again. My, son, my sons and daughters, you we need to remember that whether we are giving this suffering of travel to our parents or not.
And so if we are rebelling against our parents and God and not doing the right and not walking on the right path, then the suffering will be as comparable to the travail. So my dear sons and daughter, we need to understand that we are, whether we are giving joy or a suffering of travel to our parents. Third, uh, third John chapter four. Sunnu uh, and that there is no greater joy to parents than to hear and see their children walk in the right direction. And so this earth is going through the suffering of travel. And first Peter chapter three, uh, second Peter chapter three, verse nine. Right. And so from this we understand that the Lord does not want any of us to perish. But what God wants us to repent and make Things right. And which is why we can see that the Lord is tearing. And we have been talking about this end time for a long time. But the end has not come yet. So, brothers and sisters, it means that we are not ready yet. And Acts chapter 2 verse 38, it says that in repentance there is forgiveness. And so in repentance, the Lord will forgive us of all our sins. And so this indicates our readiness for the coming of the Lord. And so the Lord says, when all these things happen, you look above in, unto heaven. So the Lord will come one day in uh, amongst the cloud. And that is what we are waiting for. So when the Lord comes in, in, in the cloud, he will come call upon his chosen ones from all directions of the world. 
27 Are we read that in Luke, uh, Luke chapter 21 verse 27 Ani aba tesko matlab hami ta pau lai bhetna badal ma jane ho and so this means that we are uh, we will be meeting the lord in the uh, in in the cloud tesele garda hami le mathi herirane mathi herne kura yaha bataeko cha so which is why it means that we need to look up aba yo physical herai ko sath sath ma yo euta atmiki kura ho and so this indicates the physical um, looking onto uh, the heaven as well as the spiritual as well mathi mile afno shir uthau and so the meaning is that you need to lift up your head and look up so there is no time to look down there is no time to look at the things of this world things of this flesh so the time has come for us to uh, look uh, for, for the time for, uh, to look for the coming of the Lord and looking up uh, up into the heaven. And this does not mean that physically we keep looking up towards the sky. But, it, but the meaning is that we need to be prepared. And the, the Lord will gather those who are chosen. And so this looking up means that we are uh, we are we are to be ready. And those who are ready, they will look up. And so in regard to this faith, this um, uh, being ready, there are five to seven points, but we'll look at only a few, which is the, the first one being faith. And uh, we must be found with faith. And the, 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 to describe faith, there are many uh, descriptions to it. And through faith, we have received this life. And through faith, the Lord Jesus Christ came to our heart. And so we need to understand that if the, with faith the Lord Jesus Christ came to our heart, then we, we, we need to have such kind of faith. And so in majority of people, in, the, in Christian uh, people, uh, the faith only comes in their mouth. And because this only being limited to their lips, all this division, fighting, and their own uh, personal agenda comes in. And there is no faith in the heart. And to have faith in the heart is to have this faith that the Lord will come into our heart. And so whether we have this faith or not, Luke chapter 18, verse 8. <laughs> So we understand that when the Son of Man, the Lord Jesus Christ comes, then we must have this faith. So where do we have this faith, whether it is only limited to our lips or in our heart? 
क्या क्रिस परमेश्वर का पुत्र तो सातों विषय हमारे जीवन में होने पड़ता है and so we we must have this true faith that the lord jesus christ himself is the son of god john chapter 11 verse 27 <laughs> So that's one thing. And the other thing is we need to have faith that the Lord Jesus Christ came, he died, and he was resurrected for us. And so when we have this faith in us, then there is no problem. And so in Romans, we understand that with, uh, with, with words that we, we, with faith, we accept, and then it is given to us in our heart. And in Galatians chapter 2, 20 as, as well, he says that I have the I have Christ in me, in my heart. And so we need to understand that what kind of faith we have in us. And so through faith, Christ had come in our heart. And so when Lord Jesus Christ comes in us, then we then we need to have this nature that that would be uh, transpired in us. And from Peter 2.23, we understand that the Lord Jesus Christ uh, did not return, uh, uh, did not return anything in uh, in regards to the suffering he uh, went through. Uh, and so this is the definition of faith. And so when we have faith, then the Christ is within us. And so when Christ is in me, then I will have this nature in me. And it says that he, when he was reviled, he did not return back. And so today we need to understand whether we are reviling against another. And so it is not only that is coming out of our mouth, but it is something that we are thinking about as well. And so we need to pay a price for the things that we are doing for another or talking about other people as well. And so this reviling is something as judging others as well. And it says that those who judge, they will not be, uh, be safe. And so this is that we need to have the nature of Christ in us. And so we'll move on to the second point. Second Peter, chapter 3, verses 9 
आफूलाई भने समझे जाएं आफ्नो प्रतिज्ञा बारे प्रभु ढिलो गर्नुहुन्न तर कोही पनि नष्ट नहोस् तर सबैले पश्चाताप गरून् भन्ने इच्छा राखेर उहाँले हामी तर्फ धीरज देखाउनुहुन्छ तर प्रभुको दिन चाहिँ राति चोर आए जाएं आउने छ जसमा आकाशहरू ठूलो शब्द गरेर बिति जाने छन् तत्त्वहरू प्रसन्न तापले गर्दा पग्लने छन् र पृथ्वी र त्यसमा भएका कामहरू जलेर शेष हुने छन् जब यी सबै कुराहरू पग्लने छन् तब परमेश्वरको दिनको आगमनको बाटो हेर्दै र त्यसका निम्ति हतारिदै सबै पवित्र चालचलन र भक्तिमा तिमीहरू कस्तो किसिमको मानिस हुनु पर्छ त जुन दिन आकाशहरू आगो लागेर बिलाइने छन् र तत्त्वहरू प्रचण्ड तापले गर्दा पग्लने छन् तरै पनि हामी उहाँको प्रतिज्ञा अनुसार नयाँ आकाशहरू र नयाँ पृथ्वीको बाटो हेर्दछौ जहाँ धार्मिकताले बास गर्छ यसकारण प्रियहरू हो जब तिमीहरू यी कुराहरूको बाटो हेर्दछौ त उहाँद्वारा मेलमिलापमा निष्कलंक र निर्दोष अवस्थामा भेटाइने प्रयत्न गर and one thing I was uh, wanted to uh, pick from here was the unity. And here we uh, can see that when the end time is coming, you try to remain in oneness. And the Lord Jesus Christ came, in fact, for this unity. And in the Bible it says that if you are not satisfied with someone, you need to speak to them immediately. And I believe that this is the principle that I have implemented. And if I'm not satisfied, then I will say it. And if something is not, is not satisfying, I will immediately go. And I cannot uh, remain without these things uh, holding. And so when we are not satisfied with something, whoever has to repent, we need to do that uh, in, in immediately. And so if we do not have this relationship with one another, then we cannot have this relationship with the Lord Jesus I as well. And so if I cannot live together with my uh, fellow believers, then I cannot live together with my God, my, my Lord himself. And the Lord says that however the dealings that you do with the little children, you do the same dealings with me. And so if I know I'm not able to live together with the Lord Jesus, then what is the, uh, the point of doing the service? And so if I'm not able to please the Lord, then what is the point of all this? And Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. <laughs> And so it is not as necessary for us to accuse one another, have this ego and pointing to one another. But we are doing that activity, in fact, with the with Lord. Uh, but the uh, the intention of the enemy is to break this peace. And 
and this is the work of the enemy that we, we, it does not want to have uh, it wants to create division and wants to break the peace so whenever you want to have that unification the enemy brings something and breaks that again and the intention of the enemy is always to bring division and the work his work is always to destroy and so, brothers and sisters, in any conditions, we need to come uh, at peace. And so, what I'm trying to say is, we should not live with ego against one another. The Lord says that if you have anything against your brother, you leave your offering and immediately go and repent. And this is talking, the Lord is talking to someone who is related to this incident. And if you read Matthew chapter 18, verse 15 onwards, we can see this. And this is talking to person who is holding that ego. And so this is the uh, this is something happening between two people here. And he is not talking about the other people here. And there is no one to put their hands in this uh, event. But today what is happening is other people are putting their fingers into others' uh, cases. And people are putting their finger in other other churches and they are destroying it. And that is the work of enemy. And so this peak, peacekeeping is an important thing. And so when the Lord sends his uh, angels to uh, to gather all the saints, then will I be ready? Will I be gathered? And this is a thing to think about that only those who are in peace are able to raise their head and look up. And the third point, second, first John chapter one, verses three and two. Chapter three, two and three. <laughs> And so here, here we understand that our life should be pure. And so when the time of comes, that the, the Lord comes, that we need to be, we need to have this pure life. And 
And so, how pure is our life? And do we have our life which is purified by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ? And the Bible says that the blood of Lord Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sins. And so this is the, the thing that we need to have a pure and uh, a pure lifestyle in us without any uh, trickery. You know, know, and so these things of lies that that, that lies that are in our own lives. And so our life is such thing that whether it's a good or bad did it, it is recorded in our own life. And one thing is we cannot hide from God Himself. And the second thing is in our own life we have this conscience given to us. And so this uh, conscience in our own life will accuse us. And so the Bible says that our conscience must be pure. First Peter chapter 3 verse 16. And so we need to keep our conscience pure. And so if I have done evil thing against all others, then this conscience will not let me sleep overnight. And there is no sleep. <coughs> and it will keep accusing me. And if a person sins, then a person cannot hide from his own conscience. And conscience is another uh, part of the spirit. And so a person cannot hide from God and also from our own conscience. And so how much pure we need to be. And 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 3. And so we must have this pure conscience and if we are not accused by this conscience when we are do, when we are uh, uh, involved in any sin, then our conscience is dead. And so with a dead conscience, uh, if we involve in any sin, there is no reaction. And so in life, all these things come, jealousy, accusing of others, going against one another comes in our life. And so 
हामीले ख्याल गर्नुपर्छ एन्ड सो वी वी मस्ट बी वेरी अफ हाउ हाउ व्हाट काइन्ड अफ लाइफ प्योर लाइफ वी आर लिविंग इन त्यसैले यो शुद्धताको तेस्रो नम्बर कुरा हामीमा एउटा शुद्ध जीवन हुनुपर्छ भन्ने कुरा हो एन्ड सो द थर्ड पोइन्ट इज दैट वी नीड टु होल्ड दिस प्योर लाइफ है अनि यहाँ टाइम त सकिन आलेछ एउटा पोइन्टमा म जानु परो एउटा हिब्रु 2 को हिब्रु 10 को 24 पछिला पढ्दिनु त हिब्रु च्याप्टर 10 वर्स 25 चौथो नम्बर कुरा हामी हेरौ अनि आउ प्रेम र असल कामहरुका निम्ति हौसला दिन भाइ एक अर्काको चिन्ता गरौ र कसै कसैको आदत भए झै हामी एक ठाउँमा भेला हुन नसडौ तर एक अर्कालाई उत्साह दिँदै रहौ अनि त्यो दिन जति नजिक नजिक आउँदै गरेको तिमीहरु देख्छौ उति नै बेसी हामी यसै गर्ने गरौ यति यो कुराबाट हामी के थाहा पाउँछौ भने हाम्रो संगति चाहिँ भइरहनु पर्ने छ परमेश्वरमैसँग and from this we understand that we need to have a continuous fellowship with the lord jesus jab yo kura bhayeko dekhchau prabhu ka agaman ko nazik bhayeko kura haru timha tha paunchau timharu sangati ma rahi ranu yo kura gari ranu kase kase ko bani bhai jai yo kura gari ranu bhara yaha kura batako cha and he says that as you see the day approaching you do not forsake but continue on the fellowship hami hami sangati ma hami pai ranu parcha and so we must be found within the fellowship यो पहिलो क्रोन्थी एको नौला पढ्दिनु त एन्ड फर्स्ट क्रोन्थी च्याप्टर 1 वर्स 9 परमेश्वर विश्वास योग्य हुनुहुन्छ जसद्वारा हामीहरु तिमीहरु उहाँका पुत्र हाम्रा प्रभु येशु ख्रीष्टको संगतिमा बोलाइएका छौ त्यसैले हाम्रा प्रभु येशु मसीहको संगतिमा हो हामी राखिएको संगति छ मैलीमा राखिएको संगतिमा हामी पाइरहनु पर्छ अनि परमेश्वरको संगति हाम्रो आफ्नो पनि परमेश्वरको एउटा व्यक्तिगत संगति हुन्छ बाइबल पढ्ने प्रार्थना गर्ने मेडिटेसन गर्ने एउटा एउटा भर्सलाई लिएर त्यसले गहिरा गहिरा कुराहरू बताएको छ हामीले पढेर मात्रै गयो हामी बुझ्दैनौ त्यसलाई मनन गर्नुपर्छ हो यो एउटा संगति हो and together with the fellowship in the church that has been placed we need we also need to have this personal a real fellowship and relationship with the lord jesus christ which is the reading of the bible personal meditation and prayer parmeshwar sanga pai ranu parcha hami and we must be found with the lord mane sadai kura garne garchu parmeshwar sanga pai na ke garnu parcha bhanera and i keep mentioning this what should we do to be found with the lord paul le paul le bhaneko kura and this thing mentioned by paul philippi ko pustak 3 ko अ अ 6 7 लाई 7 8 लाई पढ्दिनु त्यहाँ एन्ड फिलिपिन्स च्याप्टर 3 वर्सेस 6 एन्ड 7 हम्म जुन कुराहरु मेरा निम्ति लाभ थिए तिनलाई मैले ख्रीष्टका निम्ति हानी समझे अ साच्चै मेरा प्रभु ख्रीष्ट येशुको ज्ञानको सर्वश्रेष्ठताका निम्ति म सबै कुराहरु हानि ठान्छु उहाँकै निम्ति मैले सबै कुराहरुको हानि खपे अनि ख्रीष्टलाई प्राप्त गरौँ र उहाँलाई भेटाइन सकौँ भनेर म तिनीहरुलाई कसिङ्गर ठान्छु अ त्यसैले प्रभु येशु म येशुसँगको संगति प्रभु येशुसँगको भेट उहाँसँग उहाँसँग रहने रहेको रहनु हो भने चाहिँ आज शरीरका कुरा संसारका कुरा हो जो जसले आज हामीलाई त्यसैमा नै लगाइराखेको छ त्यसैमा एकदमै भुलेर राखेको छ त्यसलाई चाहिँ हामीले कसिङ्गर ठान्नु पर्ने रहेछ एन्ड सो इफ वी आर टु बी फाउन्ड विथ द लोर्ड जीसस देन वी नीड टु वी नीड टु रिगार्ड द वर्ल्डली थिंग द थिंग्स अफ द फ्लेस एज द डंग तै म म म कोसँग संगति गरेको छु संसारसँग संसारका कुरासँग संसारका थोकसँग अनि पाउले त त्यसलाई के भने कसिङ्गर ठा त्यसलाई मैले फ्याकी दिए मार उनले भन्छ and so who are we having relationship and our fellowship with whether to the th- with the things of the flesh or the world or with the lord aba athawa ami aba tyo bhara hamile parveshu masi ko sangati ma parveshu masi ko sangati ma aba hami kasari paincha bhane hami jab ekarkam sanga hamro sangati huncha 
And so when we are in the fellowship with one another, then we have the fellowship with the Lord himself. And so, because the Lord said in Matthew chapter 18, 20, that wherever there are two or three gathered together in my name, there I am in their midst. And so, when the Lord is in our midst, then there is a fellowship with Him. And so when we, as the Lord mentioned, that seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things of this world that we would be added unto us. So let us look at ourselves and examine whether we are having fellowship with the world. There are many things that attracts us in this world. So we need to look at ourselves, whether we are having fellowship with God himself. uh, so may the Lord help us amongst the seven points we were only able to cover four points so the main thing that we were able to cover was that we need to look up with meaning being ready for the end times of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ so the tearing and the way the patience of the Lord for his coming is so that there is no one who would be perished uh, from his uh, from this uh, end time, which is why he is waiting for everyone to repent. And this life of repentance is the uh, the, the readiness. And so when in, in the in those who repent will have this uh, character in them. So it is not the time for us to look at one another, accusing one another, but it is for us to look at ourselves and weep for ourselves and repent unto the Lord and be ready. So let the Lord bless his word and uh, if I have made any mistakes and uh, in, in any way, may the Lord forgive me and as well as from you as well.